Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'd like to show you how I use these simple Dollar Tree signs to make a beautiful three-tier gold mirrored shelf. So if you're interested in seeing how I made this wall shelf, then just keep watching. this project I used six of these Dollar Tree signs, two of the 8 by 10 silver frame mirrors, one of these four and a half by six and a half ornate framed mirrors. I used an old Dollar Tree foam board, some silver glitter ribbon that I had left over from Christmas, some rhinestones that I picked up on sale from Joann's, my gold metallic spray paint, sealer, E6000, hot glue gun, and glue sticks. I'll leave the complete list of everything that I used down in the description box. So the first thing I did was remove the glass from all six of my frames. I then gave my frames two coats of my gold metallic spray paint and one coat of my Mod Podge sealer as well. While those frames dried, I used acetone to remove the words from the glass of my six frames. I also used some Dollar Tree Goo Gun to remove the remaining residue from my glass. Once my frames were completely dry, I brought them back in and I laid them down on a piece of old Dollar Tree foam board. I used the frames as a template to cut out the piece of foam board that I needed for this project. Because the Dollar Tree foam board is rather thin, I cut out a second piece of that same size, hot glued the two pieces together, and then added duct tape to the foam board as well. Here, I'm running my hot glue gun across the duct tape just to add a small amount of the hot glue to prevent the duct tape from lifting over time. Next, I removed the three mirrors from their frames and I used a generous amount of E6000 and hot glue to attach the mirrors to my foam board. I then returned all six glass pieces to their frames. Music 
I cleaned the mirrors and the glass before using a generous amount of E6000 to attach the frames to my mirrors. I allowed my design to dry overnight. The following day, I began decorating my wall shelf with these plastic rhinestones that I picked up from Joann's. Here, I'm using my wire cutters to cut the plastic rhinestones to size. Next, I used hot glue to cover the duct tape with my glitter ribbon. I decided to also add some additional rhinestones to my wall shelf as well. Here is where I realized I hadn't added the third tier to my shelf. I had left one of my frames outside where they were drying. So to fix this, I quickly cut out a piece of the foam board to attach to the rest of my design. I used duct tape to secure the piece in place. And then I used both hot glue and E6000 to attach the bottom shelf to my design. I then allowed my design to dry for an additional 24 hours. To complete the project, I removed the glue strings, used six large command strips to hang my design, and here was my finished look. I'll likely use this wall shelf in my master bathroom to hold my jewelry and perfumes, but as you can see, this really cute wall shelf can be used in any part of the home. Where would you place your three-tier wall shelf? Let me know down in the comments. Interested in seeing me pick up some of the supplies used for this project? Then check out my second channel, Dazzling Designs by Denise, up close and personal. I'll leave a link to my second channel below. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. If so, please like, comment, and share. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and be sure to turn on your notifications so that you don't miss my next video. Remember, I upload new videos every single week. So until next time, guys, bye.